everybody. Welcome back to Tips and Tricks Together, figuring out how to get through this time together. So last time we talked about the engine plate and how we need to make sure we're monitoring ourselves and figuring out how to get back into the green. And so today I wanted to go in a little bit of a different direction. We're going to talk about something called a grounding technique. So a grounding technique basically means getting you to focus on the here and the now in this moment. Because a lot of the time what happens when we start worrying or getting anxious and there's a lot to be anxious about in this world, you know, things are kind of crazy right now. And so it's natural for us to feel kind of anxious or worried. And so a grounding technique is a great thing to have in your back pocket to be able to take out, to help you take kind of a deep breath and to focus yourself back to where you're at. Because we can get stuck in the what ifs and the worries. All of us can. Adults, kids, everybody gets stuck in the what ifs and the worries in the future. And so we want to be able to bring ourselves back to the here and now and to be able to take a few deep breaths. So we're gonna talk about three different grounding techniques today. Grounding technique number one that we're gonna talk about is going to count back from five. And so each time we're gonna be looking for something that has to do with our five senses. All right, so the first thing is we're going to say five things that I see. And so, if you're feeling anxious, you're feeling worried, maybe your chest is tight, maybe you're starting to sweat a little bit, maybe your heart's beating really fast. What I want you to do is I want you to take a moment and stop and say, okay, what are five things that I can see? So, you know, right now I can see my clock. I can see my plant. I can see my dog. I can see a book. I'm sitting on the couch. Those are five things that I can see. So after I get done with the five things that I can see, I'm going to go on to four things that I hear. So four things that I hear right now. I hear my dog scratching her tummy. I hear cars outside. I hear a dog down the street barking. And I hear my foot rubbing on the couch. So those are four things that I can hear. After we get on with the four things that we can hear, we're going to go on to three things that I can smell. So I can smell outside. It smells springy and wonderful, and it was like 80 degrees today. I can smell the leftover cooking smell from dinner. I had some bacon. It was really good. And I can smell a candle that I have going in the other room. So those are three things that I can smell. And then I'm going to go on to two things that I can touch. So, obviously, I can touch the couch right in front of me, and I can touch my computer, or see if I can get her to come over here. Come here, Lou. Come here. Come here. And I can, oh, both of them are here. I can touch my dogs, okay? So, these are going to be two things that I can touch. Thank you guys for your help. All right, so then after we get with, done with the two things, we're gonna go to the one thing, one thing I can taste. So this one could be a little bit difficult because the thing you might be able to be tasting is your own saliva, right? Unless you had a mint or something like that. Um, but you're gonna work yourself down from five to four to three to two to one. And then by the time you do all those things, you're much more back in this moment than you are thinking about anything else in the future. So that is grounding technique number one. Five things you can see, four things I can hear, three things I can smell, two things I can touch, and one thing I can taste, using our five senses. All right, so the second grounding technique that we are going to work on has to do again with the five things, but instead of doing senses this time, we are doing things that we can see. All of them are going to be things that we can see. So we're going to start with five colors I see. All right, so you're going to look around your room and you're going to say, okay, well, I see green, I see yellow, I see pink, I see blue, and I see gray. Those are five colors that I have in my living room. All right, then after we get with the five things I can see, we're going to go to four shapes that I can see. So if I'm looking around my room, um, I can see a diamond. I can see a circle, um, I can see a rectangle, and I can see a triangle. So those are four shapes that I can see. After I'm done with that, I'm going to go on to three soft things that I see. 
All right, so I'm sitting on my couch. So my couch is pretty soft. There are pillows on my couch and I have a blanket on my couch. So those are three soft things that I see. After I get done with those three, then I'm gonna go to two. So this one's a little tricky for me because I live by myself. So this one is two people I see. So I'm gonna use myself as one. And my dogs are sitting over here, so I'm going to count them as a person because there's no other people here besides me. <laughs> so that one can be a little tricky depending on how many people are home right now. Um, but then after we get done with the two people I see, I'm going to go to one book I see. And I have a bunch of books in my living room, and so I can see a book over there. It's blue. So after you get through those five things, you're going to be much more grounded in this moment then you're gonna be in your worries or anxieties about the future. So five colors I see, four shapes I see, three soft things I see, two people I see, and one book I see. And our last grounding technique that we are gonna be talking about today is something I see starts with a certain letter. So you have 26 letters to choose from. You can do every single one if you really want to challenge. All right, so you can start wherever you want. Maybe you want to start with your first initial, or maybe you just want to start at A, or maybe you want to be snazzy and you want to go backwards and start with Z. So let's say that I want to start with the first letter of my last name. So I'm going to look for things that start with a W. So if I'm looking around my living room right now, I'm going to say, okay, I see a window that starts with a W and I see a wall and that starts with W. I see the wax in a candle. Wax starts with W. So I'm going to look around for all the things that start with a W. And then when I run out, if I'm still feeling anxious and worried, then I'm going to go on to another letter. Maybe I'm going to start with a B. All right. And in my living room, I see books. And I see a box and I see a bag. So those are all things that start with B. So when I get done with B, if I'm still feeling a little anxious, then maybe I'm going to go on to a different letter. So you're going to try to get as many letters as you can however, however long you need in order to focus yourself back into the here and the now. Well, thanks for joining us on Tips and Tricks together this time. I look forward to seeing you next week. Stay grounded. See you later. Mm -hmm.